guys, I've been with Watton Furnace Woodworking and Design, and today we are working outside on July 4th weekend, and it's a beautiful day to be working outside. Today is a special day that I'm going to be showing you an interesting build, and today I'm going to be showing you some things that we bought today at a salvage store um, with very low cost and some of the things that we bought. So uh, we picked these up today uh, for only two dollars. So this spindle was two dollars so we bought four of these and also this is a bourbon barrel um, top and this was only ten dollars. Now the things with these bourbon barrel tops is that they come apart very easily so we have to put this thing back together to make what we're going to make um, so we're going to lose a lot of glue and also uh, we have some power tools that we're going to be using today as well something as a bonus that I have don't know what it's going to end up looking like is I'm going to make a lamp and to do that thing right here so this was a air compressor and uh, somebody started making something, but they didn't finish. So it does have all the parts I need to start uh, to finish what they started. And I think this is gonna be an interesting piece as well. I don't know uh, what all I need just yet. All right, so let's get started. So I wanna set this aside. We don't need it right now. Um, we need to lay out what our bourbon barrel is going to look like. Okay, some bourbon barrels are different. This one is a tongue and groove bourbon barrel. Some of them come with the dowels that, um, that have little pegs in them. So you can easily just put the pegs back in and just glue them back up. But this one is a little bit different. It's all tongue and groove. So basically all we're going to do is just glue back in the seams here and then clamp it back. So this is one of those videos that one after another thing after another thing just kept going wrong. I thought I had another camera that was recording me and um, it wasn't and so all of the power tool stuff wasn't recorded so that just made this a very short video so um, all the uh, parts where it was showing me cutting the supports for the bottom of the table is left out of this um, also um, I got a dead battery so day two made one of these tables before and it turned out very great and very solid um, but it was only three legs this one I was using four legs and the other table had legs that was made for a table this time I was using spindles that probably came off of a staircase so I was using things that weren't intended to be used for something else so on this piece we went back and I went and added some hardware from Ace Hardware to the legs to give it some more stability and also uh, painted the legs they were white so just painted them like a like a brown gray color and uh, we're just going to add some more paint give it more uh, character as well as we go through this and uh, just give it some more uh, style at this point and we'll check in a little bit later. 
We will be adding some transfers. These are the best transfers on the market from Iron Orchid Designs. They have no halos that are around that make things look like a sticker. It looks like that you painted the designs on the piece itself. So I will be putting these on the table and I stole these from my wife. She's been collecting these things to be put it on different projects but I'm going to be putting these on my table so I'm going to just give her a big thank you for letting me have these and put these on the table that I'll be making and so you just uh, rub these on basically and then add a wax to seal it in and uh, it just makes your piece look very unique so I'm just going to be adding some old elements to this and it looks like it comes off of a pirate ship or something that's been well traveled. 